70's Sedai Alpha 20 has 45 perks, and not all of them were created equal. But today, we're only going to be looking at my top 5 best perks in Alpha 20. Quick disclaimer, I obviously won't be covering the really necessary perks, like weapon damage perks and resource gathering perks. They're obviously amazing, and you should always prioritise them where possible. Anyway, with that out of the way, if you learn anything new, be sure to leave a like, and let's jump into number 5, Parkour. Parkour is a 4 rank agility perk maxing out at 8 agility. The final rank reduces stamina of jumping by 40%, increases the safe fall distance by 5 meters, allows you to jump 3 blocks high, and makes it so that you'll never break a leg or sprain a leg when falling. That last effect is worth it on its own by the way. But jumping 3 blocks high can massively change how you think about 7 days to die. From building to combat, this perk is a literal game changer. Anyway, that's all I really think I need to say about this perk, let's move on to number 4. Lucky Looter. Lucky Looter increases your loot stage by 25%, allowing you to hit higher loot stages much faster. And it lets you loot containers 80% faster. Alpha 20.1 went stable right in the middle of recording this, so I've had to redo a section here with new info at the last minute. There are 4 loot tiers and 7 days to die. Tech 0, Tech 1, which now opens at loot stage 42, Tech 2, which now opens at loot stage 102, and Tech 3, which now opens at loot stage 192. Each of these will unlock the next tier of equipment you can find in the game, and the loot will not get any better in quality, quantity, or tier after loot stage 290 as of Alpha 20.1. Lucky Looter will let you hit these milestones 25% sooner. I have a video on loot stage and how it works popping up on the top right. Check it out if you're a bit lost, but remember that the numbers have literally changed to date, so the loot stage tiers are now later than I said in that video. This perk isn't fantastic early on because it is percentage based, so the higher your base loot stage, the better this perk is. And it will also eventually, around about level 250, become completely and utterly obsolete. But outside of those two edge cases, Lucky Looter is a fantastic perk. It is held back slightly by being a 5 rank perk, but it does make up for it by only needing 7 perception to max it. Anyway, enough time with this perk, let's move on to number 3. Penetrator. Penetrator is a 4 rank perception perk that maxes out at 8 perception. At the final rank, you'll penetrate 20% of armour with all guns and bows. But much more interestingly, we'll also get 50% armour penetration on anything with target armour penetration already. So with the new armour piercing ammo buff which gave them all 50% armour penetration, you'll ignore all armour with AP ammo. And since AP ammo was given a 20% damage boost from the base ammo, it's actually much more worth making it now as even against non-armoured opponents, it will give you more damage. Penetrator just gives you even more value from AP ammo. So Penetrator has been given a nice buff in Alpha 20, but the main appeal that this perk had in Alpha 19 is still there and it is still insanely good. With hunting rifles, lever action rifles, and sniper rifles, you'll be able to penetrate 4 targets with AP ammo. This means that you can hit 5 enemies with 1 AP bullet at no damage loss. This allows you to really, really decimate hordes if you build your base around this idea. Really quickly, before we jump into number 2, I just want to remind you to hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying the video. We may already be at 10k by the time this video is out. If not, subbing to is pre-built before 10k actually gives you 10 more years to live, and that sounds like a good deal to me. Anyway, on to number 2, we have the one and only strength perk on this list. And that's not to say that strength is bad, in fact it's probably objectively the best single player skill tree, with how good its weapons are, the cooking bonus the armor bonuses, the base building potential, it really has everything, and all of its perks, except Pack Mule, are pretty much top 10 worthy. But the real shining beacon of strength is Sexual Tyrannosaurus. This perk has 4 ranks requiring 7 strength. It reduces your tool and weapon stamina usage by 25%, and reduces power attack stamina usage by 50%, and grants 30 stamina on killing blows. This perk makes all melee weapons much, much better and is the go to perk for all insane nightmare players. It's so obviously good that I kind of feel dumb even having to put it on the list, but you cannot have a top 5 perks list and not include what for a very long time was the best perk in the game. But what perk has overtaken it? Before we hop into that, I want to give honourable mentions to the Huntsman perk in the Fortitude Tree, which gives you 100% more meat on harvest, Flurry of Blows in the Agility Tree, which lets you attack with one handed weapons 25% faster, and it gives you 30 stamina on kill, and Iron Gut which makes you use 25% less food and water to regenerate stamina, and makes consumable buffs last 50% longer. These perks are fantastic, but they didn't quite make my list. Anyway, on to number 1, Dating Adventurer. Dating Adventurer is a 4 rank perk requiring 8 intellect, which gives 3 additional choices when choosing quest rewards, and lets you pick 
two quest rewards. And on top of all that, it gives you 20% more dukes for completing quests. The reason this perk is so amazing is because with the Alpha 20 looting rebalance, looting early on is going to give you some very, very bad loot, even in the wasteland. But you can easily rush tier 3 jobs by day 6, and tier 4 jobs by like day 9 or 10. This is going to give you insanely good weapons very, very early on. We're talking level 6 tactical assault rifles and pump action shotguns before the first horde night. Reference, you'd have to be about loot stage 130 to get that kind of stuff from loot, and you can get it on like day 5 to 6 with questing. Daining Adventurer gives you a 150% increased chance of getting something good from these quests by opening 3 additional choices. And on top of all of that, it lets you pick an additional reward, not only on quest rewards, but on the new tier completion rewards. For example, when you complete 7 tier 3s, you can sometimes get the option of chemistry station or motorcycle parts bundles, which would be a very difficult choice between them. Well, guess what? Now you can take both with Daring Adventurer 4. This perk's only drawback is that it's an intellect, which isn't optimal for early game, as you ideally want something like strength or agility to carry you in combat. But on lower difficulties, you can get away with rushing straight to this perk. And on higher difficulties, it's still a top priority once you have combat sorted. Also, 20% more dukes is always nice. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, you may like my video where I break down my top 7 changes in Alpha 20. Thank you to my channel members for making these videos possible. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.